G'day mates. In today's video, I'm gonna see if I can get a win in Fortnite on a laptop. I just got sent the new Predator Helios Neo 16 from Acer and I wanna see if I can get a win just on the laptop. I'm talking no keyboard, no extra monitor. I'm not even gonna be using headphones or ethernet. Laptop straight out of the box, plug my mouse in. Can I get a win? To share the love, Ace is giving you guys a chance to win the laptop I'm showing off in this video. So if you want a brand new Predator Helios Neo 16, watch the video and find out how you can enter. You guys probably saw my recent video where I got sent my dream PC from Acer. And while I do a lot of my gaming and streaming from home, I am often traveling. I just got back from spending almost two years overseas traveling and making content. While I'm on these big trips, I need to be able to work, edit, and of course, play games. And that is where my new Predator Helios Neo 16 is going to shine. Now, don't let the size fool you. This laptop is incredibly powerful with an Intel Core i7-13700HX, 16 gigabits of RAM, and an NVIDIA RTX 4070. Not only this, the built-in monitor supports both WQXDA, meaning you can crank the resolution up to 2550 by 1600 at 165 hertz, or bring it down to standard resolution at 240 hertz. Also worth noting as well, this monitor is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio, so you're getting that little bit of extra verticality as well. With all of this, you would probably expect this laptop to be a brick, but it's actually incredibly light weighing in at just over 2.5 kilos or 5.7 pounds for the Americans, making it the perfect laptop to be able to handle all the high performance tasks I'll need it for while still remaining mobile. All right, first game on my Predator Helios Neo 16. Now, I know people are gonna be suspicious I'm not actually using it. So I'm literally using my hand cam so you can see me playing on it. I am incredibly, incredibly impressed with this. First off, zero ping now one ping sorry now this is on wi-fi i wanted to give you guys the most authentic experience i could on this laptop so all i've done is plug in my mouse that is it i haven't even plugged in ethernet haven't even plugged in headphones i am just playing on the laptop out of the box with a mouse plugged in for this challenge i'm going to be jumping into no builds because i wanted to use as little external gear as possible and usually to play builds i would need my joystick i have not played on a regular keyboard in fortnite in builds for years i just could not pull it off and it would not do the laptop justice if i can get this win though it'll be my first solo no build victory of the chapter it's probably not the smartest idea to drop a boss py when doing a challenge but i was honestly feeling super confident in this laptop i was getting consistent frame rate and could hardly tell the difference to my usual setup I've talked about it so much on my channel at this point, but in case you've missed it, if you are going to be upgrading your setup for Fortnite, you need to be looking at getting the best CPU possible. The reason why I'm getting such good performance on a laptop is I'm running the Intel Core i7-13700HX. I managed to third party the player going for the boss and get an easy medallion before cleaning up the rest of Grand Glacier. I was originally planning to play a bit safer, but decided to push my luck and go for a second medallion at Reckless Railway, seeing as the boss is still up. I run into a lot more opponents here than I expected, but it ends up not being too hard. Before I can even fight the boss though, I notice a medallion player is pushing me. Luckily, I did get some AR damage off first because I didn't realize this player also had the Mythic Frenzy shotgun and I only just win the 1v1. After taking out another boss, I now have Mythic AR and Shotgun and three medallions. So at this point, I don't even feel like I'm on a laptop and decided to just try and go for a 20 kill win instead. I rack up a few more easy elims before I find both remaining medallion players on the edge of zone. If I can take down both of these players, I should be able to easily win the game. I managed to take them both down and what was supposed to be a tough win turns into me having all five medallions. I thought by now the laptop would potentially start having heating issues, but it was handling it with ease. The 5th gen Aeroblade 3D fans and liquid metal cooling solution was obviously working. One of the biggest drawbacks in gaming laptops has always been their cooling, meaning you often struggle to get the performance of the high-end gear that's in it. 
this was not at all the case for me on the Helios Neo 16. From here, the game is honestly a walk in the park. What started as a challenge to get a win turned into an 18 kill win. My first solo no build victory of chapter five. The best part about buying a laptop is you don't need to spend forever setting everything up. You literally just unbox it, plug it in, turn it on, and you're good to go. Acer even has their own custom software Predator Sense to play around with your settings to optimize it exactly how you like. But straight out of the box, this thing was a beast. I think it's fair to say challenge complete. I mean, not only did I get the win, I got an 18 kill win. I am extremely impressed with this laptop. I just out of the box, I tried to keep it as default as possible. I didn't even go into any of the crazy settings. I didn't even go into Predator Sense, which is the built-in software where you can change the fan control. You can make it run even better than what I had it running at. I wanted to show you the performance straight out of the box, just with the mouse, nothing else. And it went perfectly. All right, now that I've raved about the laptop enough, for those of you guys who are enjoying the video, make sure you guys go to the description down below. There's going to be a tweet that you can enter to win a brand new Helios Neo 16 laptop. Make sure you enter. Anyone can win.